The El Paso Department of Public Health is breaking down some of the COVID-19 numbers, and tonight new data is also showing us how the virus is mostly being spread. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Tatiana Favela. Early this evening, health leaders released new information that details COVID-19 cluster infections. The health department defines a cluster as a collection of two or more cases of the virus happening in the same area at the same time. Health leaders say they've identified 10 clusters happening at 120 facilities in the El Paso County. And here's a look at the bar chart that breaks down the cluster numbers. The graph was released by the El Paso Health Department. We've posted this information on our website at ktsm.com if you want to look it over. A look at some of the data shows that 26 health care facilities in our county have reported positive cases. All of their numbers add up to 180 cases. Six correctional and detention facilities also reported ca cases. Their numbers total to more than 102 cases. El Paso Health Leaders also released this pie chart showing how people are contracting the virus. According to the data, 50% of the COVID-19 cases were contracted by close contact like family members, friends, or co-workers. 20% were community transmitted, another 20% were travel related, and 10% of the cases are under investigation. And the new data comes as the health department reports 75 new COVID-19 cases in the El Paso County. No deaths were announced today. Health leaders also say that more than 1,200 people have recovered from the virus. However, the number of active cases continues to climb with more than 1,000 cases being reported. And the number of hospitalizations because of COVID-19 has gone slightly down in El Paso. Health leaders now say there are 109 people in the hospital. That's down from 116. 61 of those patients are in the ICU, while 20 of them are currently on ventilators.